If you've seen Tony Mandrich on the cover of Sports Illustrated or watch him play football at Michigan State, you know he's been dubbed the best tackle to hit the NFL in decades. But like a growing number of athletes, Tony's interest in sports includes serious bodybuilding. His association with confidant and bodybuilder Rory Liedelmeyer solidifies his interest. The two friends offer each other support and guidance in and outside of the gym. Rich Robinson explains and joins us from the Powerhouse Gym in Oxnard, California. Tony Mandarich and Rory Liedelmeyer don't really look that much alike, but that's about where the differences end and the similarities begin. You see, these two athletes think along the same lines, and they're not afraid to tell you about it. We train to a point where if we were incapable past, we're now capable present. So he makes me get there, climb. I think he's made me realize that you can push your body a lot farther than I ever thought I could push it, and that's made me a better athlete. Sometimes people say I'm arrogant, but it's who I am. If you like me, you'll always like me. If you don't, you never will. Uh, some people think I'm arrogant, some people think I'm cocky, some people think I'm too confident. Well, that's their problem, it's not mine, because they wish that they were where I am. Why not go left behind number 79, Tony Mandridge? Now, there he is. Where Tony is, is on top. He's the best offensive lineman to come out of college football in years. He went second in the 1989 NFL Draft. At 6'6", 315 pounds, Tony has captured both respect and suspicion. Suspicion that steroids helped make him what he is. Uh, you're not supposed to be six foot six, 315 pounds, benching, you know, 560, squatting seven, running a 4'6, doing all these things that make NFL scouts drool without taking steroids. Well, I've tested negative every time I've tested. I don't take steroids. That's all I can say. Tony says those accusations no longer upset him. Rory, on the other hand, is still angry, but for a different reason. He burst onto the bodybuilding scene 11 years ago, and soon after won the Mr. California title. People were calling Rory the uncrowned Mr. America. Since then, his success in competition has faded, although he's trained numerous champions. Rory blames both himself and the bodybuilding establishment for that. One year, I was a little too light, so I developed myself to a larger status. But then they said I was a little too smooth. So the following year, I'm ripped to shreds, but I'm a little too light again. Before I knew it, I didn't even know what I was anymore. So a lot of it's my fault, immaturity, but a lot of it is the, the judge's fault. They don't know what they want. When they know what they want, when they get their act together, I'll give them what they need. So what drove them to train together? Well, Tony wanted a proven trainer, and Rory wanted a talented client. But somewhere along the way, they figured out that they wanted the same thing, excellence. And that lit a fire under both of them. I said, stand beside me, because I need you as well as you need me. I'll train you, but you keep my sight going. I'm the one that can blow Haney off the stage. That sounds large, but give me a year or two with my confidence back, and monetarily keeping my status and level, he's gone. He knows it, I know it. He changed my diet, he changed my lifting style. I went from... A six foot six, 280 pound average offensive lineman to a six foot six, 315 pound, uh, mentally stronger and tougher, physically stronger and tougher uh, lineman out of the ordinary for college football. He will become the guru of bodybuilding. People will come to him and ask him for help. People will train under him like I am. And I'm one of the examples. They do set a good example, training six days a week four hours a day. Tony says that schedule will be hard to maintain during football season. That is, if he plays. He's considering a potential $10 million fight with heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson. If I didn't think I could beat Mike Tyson, if I didn't think I could rip his head off, I wouldn't go in there. But both Tony and Rory's hearts belong to competitive bodybuilding. And no matter what happens in the future, these two guys will succeed or fail as a team. Our friendship is, is great, you know, we help each other out, he pushes me and I push him in the gym. And I benefit from Tony finding someone that cares wholly, completely, knowing that he'll drop a kidney for me if I ever needed one. And I'll do the same for him. And knowing that makes you feel a little more comfortable walking through life. For 
muscle magazine, i'm rich robinson.